In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best script executor that you can currently get on the market for free that's keyless right now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright guys, so to start, you're going to go to the link in the description. And if you haven't already, um, click on the red join Discord button to join our Discord server to get all of the files and the link to this website. But after you join the Discord server, click on the um, red button that says view executors with the white Windows logo. And then it should take you to this page right here. So scroll down until you see download QEX and you're just going to click this little red download button. Then it's going to prompt um, you to download the QEX.zip file. Just click save as and then um, select where you want to save it. Um, and then once you do, go to your file explorer where you downloaded QEX.zip. Look for where you downloaded QEX.zip. Right click and then click extract all and then click extract. Um, it should show this little folder right here. Just open up qexbootstrapper.exe and then it should show this. So it's just gonna show up a little loading screen. And it's gonna show up all the files that's loading. Just wait for it to load and then it should load up the executor. So guys, I have the script executor loaded up. As you can see, it's a cool little executor. It has the logo right here, the label right here for the status, the inject button right here, and then all of the features right over here, along with the Monaco script editor, a close button, minimize button, and a script list. So let's go ahead and try this out in Roblox and see how well the script executor is. So guys, I'm currently in Roblox, and if you're getting any error like this whenever you try to click Game Hub, um, what it means is that you just need to press this little siren button right here to inject the script executor because if you don't then game hub will not work so just click ok and then click this little siren button and then it should um the script executor should like blink and it should say kiwi x is injected just click ok and now when you open up game hub it should work but before i open up game hub i'm gonna click clear real quick and i'm just going to type in a little lua uh, script and let me try clicking execute and as you can see it executes the script for me which is pretty cool so as you can see that works i also just now tested it out clear as you can see that works too open file works so i'm just gonna click open file load in any script um i think that looks pretty good um i can also click execute file select the um code that i want to execute this is infinite yield by the way let me click open as you can see it executes infinite yield save file also works as you can see um we can go over to show hide scripts that just hides the script list for you and if you want it back just click the button again um this is the little settings button options and it will show auto attach topmost and auto execute auto execute is currently in beta still but topmost and auto attach work so for the settings to apply you might have to reopen the executor but so you can click options again to hide the options and um you can go to game hub over here and now you, you see this is the script blocks um game hub that i was talking about in the discord server so what you can do is look up any script you want so i'm just going to do um i don't know i can do um i'm just gonna do infinite yield again even though i already have it infinite yield click search and then it's going to show up all the stuff here's infinite yield this is the little text right here you can click copy it's going to copy all the text that's inside of that little rich text box click ok as you can see i'm going to clear it i'm going to paste the code into here and as you can see it works the copy button works and you can also paste it into your monaco editor too as you can see you can control two of the forms at once and as you can also see, the close and minimize button also work. It has a cute little logo over here, and then it has a little label right here that shows the status of the script executor. So guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.